colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death when men and women in the U.S. are combined. With advancements in the understanding of the genetic alterations in some colorectal cancers, recommendations are needed to help establish standard molecular marker testing, guide targeted therapies, and advanced personalized care for patients with early and advanced colorectal cancer. This biomarker um, uh, project uh, was prompted by a need in the field for a comprehensive guideline that has not been published to date in contrast to other common cancers such as breast or lung cancer. Uh, we feel there was a need for this guideline because uh, although there are many, many uh, publications and um, more limited recommendations dealing with uh, individual uh, genetic markers, single gene tests in uh, colorectal cancer, there, we really felt there was uh, an absence of an overarching comprehensive uh, guideline that would uh, be useful for pathologists and oncologists to decide what at minimum they should be ordering on uh, every colorectal cancer. The top recommendations were focused on uh, biomarkers that we identified as useful to um, enhance the treatment of patients for targeted therapies and in colorectal cancer the current uh, uh, targeted therapies that benefit from combining biomarkers tested in the molecular lab are anti-GFR targeted therapies. So the first recommendation is focused on testing the RAS genes and it states that um, any patient who is being considered for anti-EGFR therapy should have or in fact must have their cancer tested for RAS mutations. Uh, this guideline points to very recent evidence that found that mutations in both the KRAS and the NRAS genes are important to properly select patients for the uh, um, better results for, for the patient. Well, we certainly realize this is a very fast moving field. Molecular medicine is just absolutely exploding now. And uh, it would be quite naive to think that this guideline that we feel is state of the art now in 2016 will remain the last word, let's say five years from now. So, um, like many other professional society practice guidelines, we have a clear intent to revisit it regularly at a minimum of every few years, but sooner than that if, if there are major new discoveries in the field. To learn more about how to ensure patients receive the most effective targeted treatment for their type of cancer, visit our websites.